Hello. <laughs> How much do we need? How much do you need? What do you need? Crazy autofocus, tons of lenses, big zooms. But I started thinking I've, I've gone out a couple of times shooting street photography and I realized if I was just a street photographer, you don't really need that much. And if your ultimate goal is just to go out and capture a neighborhood like I just did, with my new Fujifilm X-T, it's old, <laughs> super old. But it was great just to go out with one camera and one lens. We've talked about that a thousand times on this channel. But uh, think about what you need, because I think a lot of times some of us acquire too many things and the lenses just sit. Now, sometimes it's not just what you need. Sometimes it's what you want to limit yourself to. So for example, if I went out with this XE2, old camera, and this 23 millimeter F2, and that's it. If you haven't tried that, it's really liberating to just go out and rock it with one lens. When you come back, <laughs> you're gonna be like, when you look through your photos, you're like, oh yeah, you can do a variety of images. Don't think that you're limited by a prime. So the conversation is, yes, what do you need? But sometimes it's, what, do you, what should you limit yourself to? to drive yourself creatively. And maybe some of you got to put that zoom lens that has all the focal uh, ranges, put that away and try to grab like a little used, you know, prime lens and go out and see what you can create. This time we chose Union City, New Jersey, especially this one street known as La Bergen Line. When I was a little kid, my mom used to bring us up to the Bergen Line to shop for school supplies, backpacks, and it was just hustling and bustling like a market. People everywhere, people in the stores. Now, besides trying to relive my youth, I wanted to see, capture the feel of the neighborhood. And the feel of Union City, New Jersey and La Bergen Line is like super Hispanic, Peruvian, Colombian, Cuban, Puerto Rican, uh, all cultures mixed on the street with restaurants and the stores catering to a Hispanic and Spanish uh, you know, area. It's also a super old neighborhood. So it's interesting that some of the buildings are historic and old, like they used to probably be something else, like an old bank. And now it's like a Burger King, <laughs> you know, something that used to be a bank is a Burger King. And you see this over and over in the neighborhood, historic, beautiful old buildings that probably were something else are now some small 99 cent store or, or like a shoe store. Now it was an overcast day and when it's an overcast day, sometimes you can't, of course you can't focus on shafts of light or any kind of interest using light. So I look for colors. Anytime it's overcast and I'm trying to do any kind of like neighborhood photography, I try to look for colors in the street, in the signs, in the stores. And so this kind of, these photographs are all about color. And the film simulation I decided to use is one I've never used before is Pro Neg High. And this is kind of like a general uh, film simulation. It looks pretty good. I put Pro Neg High on there with um, a, a sun. I can't even talk. The camera was great to use. The buttons were perfect. There's only one button that is annoying and it's there's no perfect back button focus. You know, the camera has these little buttons on the side for back button, but it's a little strange to back button focus. It gives you less grip on the camera. So that's the only thing, and, and it's less customizable than the modern cameras. So there's all these perfectly usable buttons here on the side, but you can't change them around, which is okay. It's an older camera, we'll forgive it. But the, the lack of the perfect back button focus made me change the way I shoot my Fujifilm. So now I was on single focus 
and using the shutter to focus, which brings us to the final point of this video. All you really need. Uh, my lenses for Sony and the Sony camera are so advanced. They auto focus on bird eyes and they capture moments super fast. But sometimes all you really need is a single focus square in the middle, single half hold, and then fire away on your photograph. And so sometimes if that's all you need, well, you can use almost any camera. By the way, the shutter on this thing sounds amazing. Listen to this. Oh, it was on electronic shutter. Stupid. You hear that? That's so nice. Compared to the X-T3. All right, so let me know what kind of fob let me know what kind of photography you do and what your needs are. What do you actually need and what you don't need? I'll see you guys next time.